There are a couple of key things on uh, why uh, sponge reefs just are important in the marine environment. One, they provide more complex habitat on the seafloor. So a lot of the seafloor is silty, sandy bottom. There's not, you know, really not much there. You know, it, you know, creatures can burrow into that. But any places where you get like coral sponges, you know, even like rubble on the seafloor, um, places where other animals can hide, that is really important um, overall in terms of the ecosystem. So these sponges are the only glass sponges that are reef forming. So, and the only place that they are forming reefs are on the, the Canadian coast. I study these sponges and I get to see them on a TV screen when I study them. But today I actually got to go down in the submarine and be like a few feet from these organisms. Um, and so we got to go up close and have the lights on them and get to see them. And, it was really cool for me to see, <laughs> yeah. Their skeletons are glass and they take silica out of the water and make, they call this called spicules, um, but they make spicules that forms their skeleton and it's, they are physically glass sponges down there. To, to grow and to build the skeleton, the sponges need this silica. We destroy the reefs, the silica balance in the water is not in the balance anymore, you know, and that has dramatically influenced to the organisms in the water. So that's the reason why we should keep the reefs in good, in good shape, in good structure, in good health. They're unusual in the sense they don't move. They, people think of them as rocks or corals or, or just sort of some very sort of still things. They don't really realize that they are animals. They actually um, clean the water. They, they extract, they filter the water and they extract bacteria. Um, they do that really efficiently, 95% of the bacteria in the water are, are um, filtered out by a sponge. The sponge reefs, they control more or less the content of the bacteria in the water column. And use that bacteria to produce ammonium that will then feed other animals. And so the amount of water that they process is having a huge benefit to um, their surroundings. We know that they're, um, that they're still doing some trawling and um, some prawn trapping. There must be kind of a way to get these reefs protected right away because if we, if we wouldn't do that, the reefs would be gone within a few years.